Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and today we are continuing in the blog series and I want to show you how to add a really nice hover zoom effect to the blog featured image. So this is really nice when you hover over, you know, the actual individual post there in the grid. Um, the image just zooms in nicely and I, it's really a nice effect. So I think you're going to like this. I'm excited to show you. Let's get started. All right, so like normal, if you're on YouTube, make sure you are going over to the blog post to get the snippets. And again, we're going to be putting these, you know, just on our page to show you, but then you would want to put them in the Divi theme options. Or if you have a child theme, make sure you're putting these snippets in your child theme. And I have instructions um, here in this link here over on the blog and then a free download there if you need a child theme. So let's just go ahead and start by grabbing this. This is going to be a pretty quick one. And I'm um, just going to show you some of the things we can adjust and customize here. I, right now I have a blog module. It's just set to a normal grid layout. And um, if you haven't noticed, I'm actually building up. So I have a lot of Divi blog tutorials. And I'm actually building up to some really cool ones where we combine a whole bunch of them. So right now... Let's just focus on this hover effect. So there you go. Just paste it in and, you know, obviously you don't visually see anything until you hover. So right now, when I hover over any of the blog posts, you can see the image is zooming in and you may notice it's also rotating a little bit. First, I wasn't going to do the rotation, but I was like, you know, that adds just that nice little touch. I really like it um, down here in the code. So at the very bottom here in the last snippet of the code it says you know etpb post hover and then image so it's affecting the css is you know selecting the image when it's hovering or actually i should say when it's hovering over the entire post here see how when you just hover you don't have to hover over the image just over the post then the image is doing what it's saying here and it's scaling 1.15 so i guess what is that 15% you know, think of it that way. So the scale, you know, obviously normal is just one. So 1. 1.15 is bigger than normal. So it's scaling up, but it's also rotating and I have it rotating one degree. See that? Now, you know, obviously if you change these numbers, you know, it could change dramatically. <laughs> um, it doesn't really suit me, but hey, depending on the situation, um, you may want to do something like that or, you know, make the zoom less or more, whatever. Um, you'd have to be kind of careful with this that you don't go too far. It's going to start looking blurry. Um, but yeah, I just had it at, at 1.15 or, you know, even just, even if you did it like a tiny little bit, like 0 0.5, just has that little bit of um, micro animation, I guess, and it just adds that nice effect. So there you go. That's how you do a you know, a hover, zoom, and rotation, a scale and rotation effect. And again, you can use one or the other. Um, some of the other things here, if you if you want to, you can actually see how the image is bigger, like full width in here as compared to this. I just want to quickly show you something. So if I was in here in the settings and I went to, I got rid of that little border because that border annoys me by default. It's like the ugliest thing. So like right there, it, you might think, oh, well now it don't look right because of the way the, like the image and the text don't line up. I'm gonna kind of put it back. <laughs> okay, and what I wanna show you is how you can customize this. So go in here and up here at the, the second one, the ETPB image container. If I say margin zero, it does that. Now, we would like to have the margin on the bottom also. So let me just, we have to kind of do some tricks here. So type zero and then another zero and then maybe 20 PX and then another zero. And basically what we've just done is we said we want zero margin on the top and then we want zero margin on the right. And then on the bottom, we want 20 pixels of margin. And then on the left, we want zero. So CSS, like when you're typing out all the four numbers like that, that's how it works. Top, right, 
bottom left. So there you go, a little bonus CSS lesson. Now I could have said margin top, zero, margin right, zero, margin left, zero, margin bottom, 20, but that would that's the long hand, this is the short hand. So there you go, now you could you know do anything you want here and the images line up. So I like to kind of start showing you more of these things you can do to learn code rather than just pasting and then you know not knowing how to achieve something. So I hope you can learn as you go. Um, maybe you want this to be a rounded image. So let's go here. Actually, I'm not sure if I need to put it on this one or the other one. So we're going to find out border radius and then we'll say like 10 pixels. Okay, that did not do anything. So it must not be that one. Put that one down here. There we go. And it's already looking great. See how it's has that nice rounded border. And be sure to check out our other tutorial on the button. Um, we have another tutorial where um, I have to be careful what I say because I don't know which ones are out right now when I'm recording. A lot of times I schedule these ahead, but we're actually moving the title and the button up over the image. Um, we're doing one where the entire thing's clickable. We're doing a whole bunch. I'm just trying to be, you know, cryptic here because I'm not sure which ones are already out when I'm recording this because I do so many at a time and then schedule them. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this. I really like this effect. If you like it, let me know in the comments and give me more ideas on other things you want me to do with the Divi blog module. All right, so I hope you enjoyed learning that, how to add that zoom, hover zoom effect there to the blog featured image. If you're enjoying this series on the blog, let me know. And we have, actually we have more coming on the blog and um, We'd kind of like to hear your ideas. It's kind of unlimited. It's almost like our series on the menu. It just seemed like there's just so many ideas, so many. We ended up with, I think, um, 20 couple for the menu. And, you know, we'll still probably add a few more. But so, yeah, let us know because I know there's things that you want to do with it and things I just haven't thought of because, you know, yeah, you know, everyone has these different perspectives. So let me know in the comments and we'll see you guys in the next video.